for the movies, you might need a snack. So you, people hear about chicken and fries, and it sounds like a very simple combo. Well, I'm about to light a fire under you to check out the Blazing Buffalo Food Truck. Yes, I am a chicken connoisseur. I like to think I'm a wing connoisseur, but my man here, Cody, is a true chicken connoisseur. You just called yourself Chicken Man. <laughs> <laughs> when I go to the grocery store, that's what I'm called. <laughs> well, you have a lot of chicken that you work with every day, but tell yeah. me about Blazing Buffalo. Yeah, Blazing Buffalo is a relatively new food truck in town. Uh, we started about a year ago, but we've only been full time since last August. So we've been new in Jacks. So what brought you to do this? So I kind of started dabbling with fried chicken back in 2014 when I was in San Diego. So as a matter of fact, I bumped into someone who um, was what we were walking on the street, we were talking and he gave like a fried chicken recipe, right? So like, I'm trying to like cook it at home, like this isn't working. It started becoming like a contest. How can I make the best fried chicken? And I would go compete with some of my friends and uh, this is kind of what, what turned out with it. So the big question is, People don't eat a lot of fried chicken in San Diego. What were you doing in San Diego? Yeah. So I was actually serving a volunteer mission for my church. Oh, nice. Uh, so that hence bumping into someone on the street. Gotcha. And uh, so I was there for two years, and then I've been here back in Jacksonville since 2015. And you decided to bring a, your perfected recipe. <laughs> I'm going to take it. All right, so you have a wide array, and it's your chicken is so light. The way it comes out, it's just like when you bite into it, it's not like you're bite. It's, not tempura, but it kind of has that kind of appeal. Yeah, absolutely. And then, uh, but it's more about the sauces. Yes, You absolutely. have a bunch of sauces, tell me about them. Yeah, we just wanted to give people an option, right? Because it is just chicken and fries, but we wanted to elevate that. So um, our well-known sauce is the honey cholula. It's a sweet, spicy, creamy sauce that we do homemade. And then I actually have a surprise right here for you, which is our sriracha lime. It's our hottest sauce if you wanted to take a <laughs> Oh, so you wanted to go that route. Right? Yep, I wanted to. <laughs> Let's see if you, can, if you can handle the heat. Okay. <laughs> well, while well, I try this, tell me about the mac and cheese bite. Yeah, this is my grandpa's recipe that was passed down. It's actually a wedding gift to my wife and I, but it's been going around in the family. It's pretty good, right? <laughs> oh, my God. It's sneaky sweet with some sneaky heat. <laughs> yep. You can use that for marketing. Okay, Jill, we're going to have t-shirts with that. All right, so that. So, yeah, so basically um, I wanted to honor him. So instead of serving it how we got it, like casserole style, I'm like, let me just ball it up and deep fry it. Let me be, let me be unique. <laughs> you can never go wrong with anything deep fried, in my opinion. Absolutely. No. And these are just pretty much fresh out the press. Tell me about your workflow, because... You know, you're pumping out chicken, but you're moving stuff fast. The fries, you actually do like a little pre-prep that's yep. really interesting. I'd never heard of that before. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so we have a lot of preparation. All of our chicken's hand cut. All of our fries are hand cut. <laughs> yep, those are made and balled. Um, homeboy over there balled 321 on Friday. Um, <laughs> Uh, sandwiches are cut and uh, hammered out. So everything, there's a lot of prep that goes into it. Oh my gosh. So that little bite right there, I get to the crunch and I'm like, crunch, soft, pillowy, <laughs> and then flavor, and dude. And then they do this watermelon <laughs> lemonade. You guys put in a lot of work. We do. <laughs> so this is the work of would you say 25 pounds of lemon? Yes, uh -huh. that's just for one batch. 25 pounds of lemons for one batch. And then a watermelon? Yes. And then who came up with this recipe? Um, I, I did, actually. So basically, I wanted to do chicken, fries, and then mac and cheese bites and lemonade. But I'm like, everyone does strawberry lemonade, everyone does raspberry lemonade. What can I do to be different? So I said, let's play around with watermelon lemonade. And uh, that's, after much trial and error, that's what we've got. Yeah, I'm not shared. I mean, it's a lot, but I'm not shared, man. Awesome. Thanks, man. Let's talk it out. <laughs> I appreciate you.